Cracking your knuckles is an extremely common habit. Most people consider it rude and still others believe that the practice is harmful for your joints. So what's the truth? Is this an innocent nervous tick or the beginning of arthritis? Today, we're answering the question, what happens when you crack your fingers? Cracking joints is an interesting and poorly understood phenomenon. There are many theories as to why joints crack or pop, but there is some contention as to what is actually happening in your body. As a rule, painless cracking of joints is not harmful. However, common sense would generally suggest that the intentional and repetitive cracking of one's joints is not only potentially bothersome socially, but could also be physically troublesome when it produces pain. However, knuckle cracking has not been shown to be harmful or beneficial. More specifically, knuckle cracking does not cause arthritis. The noise of cracking or popping in our joints is actually nitrogen bubbles bursting in our synovial fluid, says Dr. Robert Clapper, co-director of the Joint Replacement Program. According to Dr. Clapper, synovial fluid lubricates your joints like motor oil in a car's engine, reducing friction and preserving our cartilage. The nitrogen bubbles within the synovial fluid usually take 20 minutes to reform in your joints before they can crack again. Part of the appeal of knuckle cracking could be that 20-minute lull when gas bubbles are reforming in the synovial fluid. You might feel looser during that period, as if you've relieved pressure from your joints. But the satisfaction is mostly in your head. Feeling good after cracking your knuckles is a psychological experience, says Dr. Clapper. One of the most convincing bits of evidence suggesting that knuckle cracking is harmless comes from a California physician who reported on an experiment he conducted on himself. Over his lifetime, he regularly cracked the knuckles of only one hand. He checked x-rays on himself after decades of this behavior and found no difference in arthritis between his hands. A larger study came to the same conclusion. The other reason that joints seem to crack is because our ligaments snap into place as we move our bodies. Furthermore, the nitrogen buildup theory has been debunked in recent years. In a 2015 study, researchers watched knuckles while they were cracked using an MRI. They found that a cavity formed due to the negative pressure created when the joint was pulled apart quickly. They determined that the sound was made by the formation of the cavity. However, this couldn't explain the loudness of the sound. A 2018 study suggested that the sound was actually caused by the partial collapse of the cavity. A review of studies noted that it takes 20 minutes for the cavity to fully collapse so a new cavity could be formed. This may be why after you've cracked your knuckles, you're not able to do it again right away. There are rare medical reports of problems associated with this behavior that may relate to how much force is applied and one's particular technique. For example, joint dislocations and tendon injuries have been described after attempts to crack knuckles. One study published in 1990 found that among 74 people who regularly cracked their knuckles, their average grip strength was lower and there were more instances of hand swelling than among 226 people who did not crack their knuckles. However, the incidence of arthritis was the same in both groups. So, what's the verdict? Cracking your knuckles has no inherently harmful or beneficial quality. It won't cause arthritis or any other chronic issues so long as you don't use excessive force. If you are too forceful, you may cause pain and inflammation of the knuckles. If you notice your joints are painful or swollen while cracking your knuckles, it's likely due to an underlying condition and should be evaluated by your doctor. In case you were trying to quit the habit, doctors recommend deep breathing, meditation, and yoga to keep your mind off your knuckles.